Greetings, Commander Exegius here. Let's look at unlocking a bit of alien technology, the Thargoid Enzyme Missile Rack. The Enzyme Missile Rack leaves a thick layer of caustic material when striking the hull, causing slow, constant damage until cleaned by either a decontamination limpet, burning it off by running your heat above 180%, or docking at a station. They are a non-engineerable dumbfire missile, so they are a bit hard to land shots with, but can be effective against hull tanks. To get started, we'll want a ship with maximum jump range and an SRV or two. I'm going to be heading out in my Diamondback Explorer, but any small or medium-sized ship with good jump range is fine. We pretty much only need an advanced discovery scanner and one or more SRVs. Given we'll have to kill quite a few scavengers, you may want to have materials to synthesize a few weapon reloads for your SRV. As always, a few suggested builds are down below. Now that we're ready to go, we'll need to find some Thargoid scavengers. The best place is the Barnacle Forest, although you could also head to an active Thargoid base. The forest is ideal given the numerous scavengers at the site, and it is rather creepy cool. It's a bit of a super cruise flight, but well worth it if you haven't visited the site before. Locations are in the description below. Once you land, jump in your SRV and begin your search for the scavengers. As they aren't too difficult at all to kill, keep your pips at 204. Hell, most didn't even shoot back at me. Just run around blasting everyone you can find until you've cleaned them all out, at which point you can exit out and hop back in so a new batch will spawn. I recommend doing this in solo so you won't have to compete with any other commanders for the materials. Repeat this until you've gotten the 30 Thargoid energy cells and 36 Thargoid organic circuitry necessary. Now that you have your Thargoid materials, we need to do some surface prospecting to get the 34 molybdenum and 35 tungsten we need. Just head over to eddb.io to find the closest body with high drop rates. I used Ares Dark Region QT-R C4-9A1 for the molybdenum and HR723A1 for the tungsten as both had high drop rates and were nearby. Now you'll need one last thing, six radiation baffles that we'll find in the market. Again, use eddb.io's commodities tab to locate the nearest market that sells them. They are fairly rare, so you may have to go a bit of a ways to grab them. I acquired mine at Sopwith Arsenal in the Tavisa system. Once you've obtained everything, confirming you have the right amounts of each, on screen now, it's time to head to the nearest human technology broker to unlock them. You can find the closest technology broker using the nearest tool under Systems and Stations on Inara, link below. Once you've unlocked, you can buy them at any station with outfitting of experimental weapons. While we won't be doing a combat review here, I will say they can be effective against smaller ships. Remember, however, they are only effective against hull, so wait for the shields to drop. Once striking hull, they do continued damage even when the shields come back online. Unfortunately, these can't be engineered, which may actually be a good thing. Hopefully this will help you unlock the Enzyme missile as quickly as possible. It took me just over an hour in total, and you'll be melting hulls in no time. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching.